It is futile to fight an enemy you think you know, because what you think you know you do not, and it is a battle the people will not win or lose. It is beyond our comprehension as a people. The world is not your friend, and you are not the world's friend either. When I say the world I do not mean the world as an entity, I mean the world in which we live is inhospitable for the awakened. Once, it will consume you and spit you out, if you let it, we cannot fight this war, it is a war of ideas and a war of information, we cannot fight a war if we do not know who exactly we are. Fighting, it is like fighting blindfolded and with no legs, we cannot, we will not win or lose. This because it is a war on our ideals and ideas and it is a war on not only our free will but our very soul. We cannot see it but it is there, an ever-pervasive force ever branching out in all directions across the earth like a virus but in the form of ideas and opinions about what we as a collective believe and know to be true is as a war beyond all comprehension, coming at us from all sides, and we best buckle up for the ride, the world you thought is no more and you best be ready for what comes next and be ready for anything, the world is going to change faster than the blink of an eye, so you better be ready at any time to be in eternity, do not let them who are whatever they are get you down, do not be afraid, for I am also going through this as well, we all need to be ready for anything to happen at any time, because it is impossible to know what the world is thinking at any given time, and we need to be vigilant and aware of the devices of our energy and theirs, at all times resist what is evil, but never engage it directly, or else it will shall delete and defeat our souls, do not let your heart be troubled, be brave like a lion but wise as a serpent, for they are cunning and can bagel anyone who is dumb enough to engage them. The greatest weapon they have is their toe, because in it they can deceive and lie, for in their tongues is poison and in their teeth is death, for they are the ultimate predator and can seek out our light like a shark in the ocean can seek out blood, so hide your light and shield your soul from them, or they will seek you out and awares they are attracted to light like a moth is attracted to the flame, we need to stay safe and stay together, we need to stay in large groups or else they will come for you when you least expect it, they appear as good Samaritans and will offer you a good thing, but inwardly or it is not just an assault on our free speech, it is an assault on our free will as human beings on this beautiful earth, the minority wants to put us all under the brackets of mental illness and what it wants is to ensure us on a personal level that we are wrong and they are right, 60 minutes, in an interview with a person claiming to work as disinformation agent to create a blow against us, saying that we are delusional and we need to be educated about what is correct and say that we are wrong, and they are right, we are considered to be a delusional and schizophrenic, and they say we need to be silenced by the medical industry and say that what we Balave is wrong and needs to be corrected, and the people who they call conspiracy theorists are and calls anyone who believes anything apart from the narrative of mainstream media, any person who believes in or is a person with exotic beliefs will be area tested and told to go to hospital and if they believe anything that is not accepted they will be told that they are wrong and need to seek medical attention. This is not just an assault on our free e-speech, this is an assault on our human rights, as human beings, and as such we are not allowed to have free thought, and are told we need to be regulated and medicated. The medical industry is now saying and have realized the importance of the conspiracy phenomenon, and now they want to control us. All of us need to hold what we believe, and do not give away our treasures to our enemy, lest they use that information against us all, it is not good enough to rise up in arms, it is necessary to fight with caution, lest our enemy become aware of our devices and attack us unaware, we fight and everything neither, are to you know mostly nothing about and we need to excise extremely me caution when dealing with them, like in the movie they live, if we're e being come aware of them, then chances are that they will focus more attention on us, it is a balancing act of good versus evil, we e need to fight the good fight not the bad one, people should live like they are willing to die, but people need 
To understand this is not about life and death, it is about survival, meaning we should live with the uttermost respect not just for our friends but also our enemy, for even the bad guys love their own, and so do we, the bad one also have their own set of rules and we do as well, if you resist them they will shall attack you, just ignore them, and they will likewise leave you alone. If you pay attention to them, then they will likewise pay attention to you, just turn the other cheek and walk away to entertain them, as they to you that you are crazy, just say nothing to them, you are feeding them, do not entertain them, they feed off our fear and negative emotions, do not even give them the opportunity to engage with you, lest they be the ones to enslave you, this is a warning to any person trying to fight a battle that they know is not win or lose, it is a battle of light against dark and neither one will win, just be yourself and walk away and believe whatever you want and to believe but be cautions of the people places anything around you and do not put in weight into it, people have different opinions and thoughts just like you and some of them were ill not tolerate you disobedience to what they call the status quo, keep you thoughts safe and do not go out publicly and cause a scene because some People will not tolerate it, delusion or belief aside, conspiracy aside, it is different to any and all persons, some people will say it is delusional to say such things, and some people will take it, Edo their own hands to report it to the authorities as so keep you believe safe and try to understand that the more you tell the world the more they will arrest you and eventually enough. People will know, the good and the bad that the world that you thought you were trying to inform will become unlivable for you. It is futile to fight an enemy you think you know, because what you think you know you do not, and it is a battle the people will not win or lose. It is beyond our comprehension as a people. The world is not your friend, and you are not the world's friend either. When I say the world I do not mean the world as an entity, I mean the world in which we live as inhospitable for the awakened ones, it will consume you and spit you out, if you let it, we cannot fight this war, it is a war of ideas and a war of information, we cannot fight a war if we do not know who exactly we are fighting, it is like fighting blindfolded and with no legs, we cannot, we will not win or lose this because it is a war on our ideals and ideas and it is a war on not only our free will but our very soul, we cannot see it but it is there, an ever pervasive force, ever branching out in all directions across the earth like a virus but in the form of ideas and opinions about what we as a collective believe and know to be true, is as a war beyond all comprehension, coming at us from all sides, and we best buckle up for the ride, the world you thought is no more and you best be ready for what comes next and be ready for anything, the world is going to change faster than the blink of an eye, so you better be ready at any time to be in eternity, do not let them who are whatever they are get you down, do not be afraid, for I am also going through this as well, we all need to be ready for anything to happen at any time, because it is impossible to know what the world is thinking at any given time, and we need to be vigilant and aware of the devices of our energy and theirs at all times resist what is evil, but never engage it directly, or else it will shall delete and defeat our souls, do not let your heart be troubled, be brave like a lion but wise as a serpent, for they are cunning and can bagel anyone who is dumb enough to engage them, the greatest weapon they have is their tonge because in it they can deceive and lie, for in their tongues is poison and in their teeth is death for they are the ultimate predator and can seek out our light like a shark in the ocean can seek out blood, so hide your light and shield your soul from them, or they will seek you out unawares. They are attracted to light like a moth is attracted to the flame, we need to stay safe and stay together, we need to stay in large groups or else they will come for you when you least expect. If they appear as good Samaritans and will offer you a good thing, but inwardly are conspiring against you, be aware that the world is not your friend and you need to be aware of that. Against you, be aware that the world is not your friend and you need to be aware of that. Be like me and I will be like you. El Cantar Ride the Tree of Life
Yggdrasil father of life Jesus Christ, son of of the living God and father of creation. Let this be a warning and a guide to all who live in the future. Amen, son of God the son of man, Jesus Christ, the light of the world and the truth.